memo today or the uh oh, the pink, pink. Ooh, we're pink all in pink. you're pink Ooh. and i'm what? sort of orangey aren't i what it's kind so of pink is the color still pastely pinky oh, but yes. what does that mean pink is is um they say in the pink meaning uh, pink you know make, yeah in the pink or pink to make the boys wink oh that's it oh <laughs> that's what we're doing uh, making yeah, the boys very... wink Spring is in the air. We're bringing colour back. You know, we are in the garden. You look as if you were juggling, then hills. Oh, I can do. I can do. I can do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, You're so talented, hills. Stop. You have so many strings to your bow, hills. Thank you so much. Um, but even looking in the garden, you can see the little heads of all the little bulbs po poking up with all the colours. Yes. That's true. That's oh. true. Spring is springing. Definitely. Definitely. Well, no. I, I will find out when I come and see you in Sonning, when you, I come and see you in the play, Natalie. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, when are you coming? Oh. Um, probably the week after, um, a few days. I'm going to give it a few days. I'm doing stuff and then I'm going to come down and commit and see oh, you. Oh, that would yeah. be lovely. I'm having oh, such yes. a, a, a naughty time with Debbie Arnold. She's a terribly bad influence on oh, me. Oh, I'm professional. Mm, but she's a lot of fun. And she's, she is. <laughs> I've seen it hills. I've seen it nearly three times. Nearly three I'd times. Say nearly. So I'm going again this week because I oh. just can't stay away from these two naughty people. <laughs> oh, I'm going to love it. I might even try and stay down. Actually, do you do you stay down there or do you travel? Do you all go we, home? No, yeah, we stay down. We stay down if we on Friday and Saturday nights. Yes, because you have a matinee. Yes, on, so we do Friday night, two shows Saturday, and one on Sunday. A matinee on Sundays, so we're completely oh. knackered. So it's oh. like four, four shows in 36 hours, very lots together. That may be not the right, best time to come and see you then, but we'll, I'll, we'll work it out and I'll come and see oh, you. Oh, no, it's fine. We're, we're great. I mean, it's probably a very good time because at least we can all talk to each other afterwards, you know, especially on Friday night or Saturday night because we don't rush off, you see. Oh, oh it's, it's, lovely. it's lovely. It's a treat. It's a yes. treat. The Friday and Saturday is a real treat because we just don't go anywhere and we are very demanding in the hotel and ask for extra milk and extra this. And we, wear a, we want <laughs> biscuits. And we've run out of coffee. Oh, and, you, and, and you could all sleep in the same bed because the, these two sleep in the same bed, you see. There's just room in the bed. There's no more room. No. Did you okay. say plenty of room or no more room? Loads of room. Oh, Loads the, bed. Of the bed is so huge. That Nat it's a bit like Malcolm and, that you imagine Malcolm and Wise. You know, remember when they have their two separate beds. But Natalie and I, we when we sleep together, we are so attractive. We have our iPads on, <laughs> our earplugs in, don't we? We lie there. And you still okay. tell me I snore. Well, you can hear you. Your earplugs. Earplugs. You said this, these are the best earplugs in the world, and obviously they don't work. Obviously you say I snore. <laughs> I think she makes that up now because when I slept with her, uh -huh. um, she said I snored. But I know that I grind my teeth, you see. Right, we, we have a, a guest who we just, none of us actually like very much. No, I can't stand him. No, he's mm. awful. Yeah. It's Mark Curry. Yeah. <laughs> I love you I... more than Debbie and Hillary does. <laughs> now, there's a little button that says, leave meeting. Should I leave the meeting? <laughs> no, if, you're going to, if you're going to fight, I better leave the meeting. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, we'll get security. I'm all yours. I'm all yours. Take me. I love him. 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 I love you. Oh, I, love you. I, love you. God, I didn't realize you were on. That's a surprise. I know. <laughs> the last time we saw you, we were together. Do you remember? I do remember. Yes. That show, <laughs> that, that, show that lasted four nights. How did I your show go? Around. Debbie, how did your show go in Sonny? Well, we'll no, I'm about. still there. Natalie. Oh, you're still there? Person, Fabulous. You don't know. Natalie's in it with me. Oh, Natalie here is here. Hi, Mark. Uh, They've all been hello. saying how much they're in love with you, and I, and I, I can feel love coming on already. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yes, obsessed hello. with him. I've nice got that love yes. live. And that's you too. Why, lovely to meet that's you. Why, that's why we're all wearing pink. <laughs> pink <laughs> is the colour of love. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. And, I'm sure it Anthea would mean. feel the same. Anthea would be so jealous. Yes. Yes. Girls, girls, you know. <laughs> it's because you all know you're safe, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
What do you mean? Yeah, but that's the thing is, Mark, it's, it's, it's actually not that. It's because why can't we find a man like you? Uh, well, yeah. I, me personally. You know, you are, it's, it's, not that it's big because you're funny, you're handsome, you've got everything. All talented. And then just, you know, sorry. Losing my hair. <laughs> Okay. But, but, well, they know, are out just... there. They're out there, girls. You've just got to look. You've just got to look very, very carefully and just don't jump in with the first guy that comes along. Wait. Well, you've waited a long time, all of you, haven't you? But, <laughs> but you've all had your moments. Come on, you've all had you've all had your you've all had your moments. And yeah. I, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. So, Mark, what I was gonna say, did is it Alan Parker? Was that your first job with Bugsy Malone? Yeah, I, I are we on now? Are we on now? Yeah, Is yeah. We've been show? on it for ages. Oh, all right, okay. Um, <laughs> Bugsy Malone. Bugsy Malone wasn't the first job. No, the very ah. first was 1969 when I was eight, <gasps> and I auditioned for Jess Yates, who was oh, then the you big showtime. Pop. Yes. Yeah. I was on that. What are you what? on? That? Well, there and you I go, had you a t-shirt because I had big tits, and I had a. <laughs> I had a T-shirt on that said "Junior Showtime." Uh, yes. And how old were you then, Pray? Yeah, a how little girl, and he had the camera on my boobs. There you go. Wow! Wouldn't be luckily, now. folks. Luckily, <laughs> there is no evidence of Junior Showtime apart from <laughs> like one little video somewhere that some that apparently oh. Jesse Yates. Because for those people who don't remember Jesse Yates. He was the big, big boss at Yorkshire Television in Leeds, which had opened in 1968 and Emmerdale Farm started and other big, big dramas. And he said, I want to create a children's variety show. And they called it Junior Showtime. I remember it and so well. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. I know because I'm so old. <laughs> but I yeah. loved it so I, much. I sang me matchmaker, too. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine. I did. Oh. It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it, um, actually, it was a bit terrible. It was. No, a bit. It wasn't. It wasn't. Was Glenn Poole on it. Glenn Poole. Glenn Poole. Glenn Poole's the big star. Um, Catherine Apanovich, who went yeah. on to do Angels and EastEnders. Yeah. Yeah. Bonnie, of course. Bonnie Langford. Yeah. She started from Junior Showtime. Yeah. And did am I right, Mark? Did Joe Longthorne appear on it? Am I? He did. I... He did. Joe Longthorne was on it when I joined. Gosh. But the rule was that as soon as you reached 16, you had to leave. So he left. So I never actually got to work with him or meet him or anything until years, years later. And so he went. And then those of us who were younger came in. But that was the rule. At 16, you had to go. Well, what a start to your career. That was proper showbiz with sparkly curtains and everything. Oh, I just absolutely loved it. And can you imagine then going back to school? Oh, I grew up, oh, in, a, yeah, I, I grew up yeah. in a mining village in West Yorkshire, you know, totally non-showbiz. And I would go home and, of course, I'd want to continue this showbiz vibe at home. And my mum would say, can you just stop it? Haven't you had enough? And I'd place? say, no, I haven't had enough. I want to do more. And she'd oh. say, let's just go. I mean, I don't think my mum knew what she'd created, really. But how did you come to be on it in the first place? How did they find you? Uh, well, because of something sad that happened, something happy happened. So my my father died when I was five years old. I was born in Staffordshire. My father was a prison officer and we moved because of his job. Or my mum, brother and sister moved. I was born in 61 in the prison house because the officers had prison houses. So how totally on show business is this? <laughs> wow. Next to the prison. I was born. Wow. In yeah. And, um, and my dad died when I was five years old. And my mum wanted to go back to Yorkshire because she was one of 16. Oh, wow. what? Blimey. Yep. Goodness. She was one of 16. She was number eight of 16. And obviously she wanted to be around her brothers and sisters. And we moved to a village. And um, in the village was a, a pub owned by a showbiz couple. They just moved in. She was a singer. She was called Rini. She wore all the sequins and the earrings and the wigs. And I just... And I went over one, one night to sort of stay in the in the city room because my brother and sister wouldn't look after me. They were oh. out partying. <laughs> and, um, and this woman came downstairs and said, hello, are you Mark? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm Mark. And I looked at what she was wearing. And of course, my mum never wore anything like that. And she said, no, I'm going to go on stage. And she said, you mustn't come through and watch me because uh, my show isn't for children. 
because she was a bit of a, a blue performer, you know, her songs yeah. are a bit blue and, yeah. and her jokes are a bit blue, you know, a bit, a bit naughty. But I sneaked through, I sneaked through and saw her on stage. And her husband was playing like jazz piano behind her. He was a great jazz musician. And she saw me, she saw me watching her. And she came off and she said, I told you not to go. She said, I said, I know, but I just, I just wanted to see you. I just wanted to hear you sing. And she kind of took me under her wing a bit. And she knew people at Yorkshire Telly and I got the audition. Wow. Like, wow. Oh, yeah. Life-changing moments yeah. for you. Yeah, incredible. And mm. I mean, so many people have got these stories, haven't they, that something happened. And, yes. and you look back and you think, well, maybe, maybe that's what was meant to happen. I mean, obviously, it's yes. been awful not having a dad. But uh, yeah. at the same time, if, if that hadn't have happened, we'd have probably gone to where whatever his career took him, you know. So. That, it reminds me of, of Billy Elliot being brought up in a mining village. Have, has people, obviously people said that to you before. With when I the... saw that film, I literally could not move out of the seat at the end. Oh, I, 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 bet. Re- I identified with it totally. totally. And of course my brother was a miner, you know, my brother was on the picket line in the eighties. Oh. Yeah. And <gasps> my, you know, my uncles were all miners. I mean, it was a mining village where we grew up. And, and I was this kind of freak child who was always <laughs> singing yeah. and dancing. We, I remember going to the supermarket and my auntie, Rini, who was the showbiz person, had just yeah. taken me to see Hello Dolly, of course, with Bob Strike. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and we're going through the supermarket and they are playing Hello Dolly, the song. And I'm there doing the full thing. I'm being Bob <laughs> in the island. And my mom, me, please stop. I said, I can't. <laughs> no. Clark, did, did, did Auntie Rini, I mean, obviously she saw your, did she see your career become successful? Yeah, she did. Yeah, she lived a long time and I stayed in touch with her. And, uh, yeah, she, she lived to be about 91, 92. And... Oh, she must have been so proud of you. Yeah, well, she was, but also she just she just knew. I think when you're in the business and you're a good performer and you'll have all had this experience, you see people and you see young people particularly and you you say to yourself, they've got it, you know. Yeah. It's it's like in, in the show I'm doing now, I'm, I'm in Wicked now, and they're all great, they're all great. But some of them, I, I just look at them and I think, you are the one. You, you're you going yeah. to really have the great career. You know, people just have that extra thing. Yeah. And I wasn't super talented or anything, it wasn't that. I think what it was with me, I just was so enthusiastic and I still am. I mean, I love yeah. it. I, you're, and Hillary knows this, I mean, because we've worked together and, and you're actually, Hillary, I think you're the same. Well, I think we're all the same, really. You just We love what we do. We just love what we do, end of. And it's yeah, passion. We did, we did, girls, we did, and everyone watching, hopefully, we, Mark and I did pantomime together in Blackpool at the beautiful Grand Theatre and many, many years ago where I was Cinderella and he was my buttons. Oh! oh. It was yeah. perfect. We had such a ball. And that's where we became friends and we've been friends ever since. But, and but she was uh, a great Cinderella as well. She was a great. But it was, it, um, your career, obviously, we know about the, the presenting. Of course, you're so famous for the presenting and stage work. And Debbie and I were fortunate recently to see a play that you directed, which was a new thing, fairly new thing. I don't know whether you directed anything before that. No, no, no. 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 Oh, really? Was that, was that your... Did we, we saw your, your cherry broken, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we did, and it, it lasted six nights before it closed, but never mind, that wasn't no, my that, fault. That, that was, was nothing no. to do with you. That was a terrible thing to do with would the Would you building. like to direct again, Mark? Yeah, exactly. I would love to direct again. I really enjoyed that. I knew the play. It's a play that I'd been asked to do years and years ago, a, a, a play called Straight and Narrow. And I couldn't do it, but um, the play always stayed in my mind and in my heart. And yeah. uh, and this venue, this this off West End venue, came along, and I said to the guys who ran it, "Listen, I've got this play that would really work here." And we had a reading of it, and the, and it did work. We got the rights to it, and I and I thought it was great. And I, what I loved, I loved basically helping the actors. We've all worked with directors who have given us a bad time in our lives, as well as brilliant directors. We've worked with people yes. who sometimes play power games and are bullies, etc. Uh-huh. And we've often all thought we're not getting the help that we need. And I thought to yeah. myself, this is a chance for me to give actors what sometimes I've felt I haven't had support and help and just being there, really, truly there for your for your performers and wanting the best out of them. Oh, I bet you. And I, and I love that. I, I love that feeling of, of, of helping them all and, and getting it all oh. together. It we should was ask, great. We should ask Sally when you finish in Wicked if you can direct something in Sonny. Yeah, mm. I'd love to do. 
It's so such great. a lovely place, Sonny. Can't wait yeah. to see you play there. And of course, the great thing there is that you've got that fantastic production company behind you. You've got yeah. the yes. sets and, and, and the lighting's fantastic. And it's a happy place. It's a Beautiful. great place. Is it, isn't it Wicked an amazing show? It's this incredible, huge... Uh, my son was in Wicked for a year and really? he took me under... He um, the, Underneath the, the costumes, oh, my goodness, the wigs, the, the mask. It, 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 I've never seen anything like it. Unbelievable. And it's, it's such it. an exciting show. It is. And it's still there. You in it. How long more are you in it? Um, I'm in it for right through the summer. Um, it's a little bit open ended, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Because I did it before. I was in it back in 2016, oh. Oh, and, okay. um, and I did it for a year. And uh, and then it came round again. It was it was so funny. Again, what happens? We've all been through this. I'd, I'd been for two mm -hmm. other jobs that I really wanted. Two other shows mm -hmm. that I really wanted. One in particular I wanted, and I was so upset not to get it after four or five auditions and recalls. Oh, and I know. And they videoed the last audition and sent it off, and oh, hold that, waiting, 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 waiting. It's terrible. It's <laughs> the worst thing about our, our job. And yeah. uh, my agent phoned me and said, you haven't got it between me and Cynthia. <laughs> They've gone in another direction. Oh, oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. that. <laughs> I hate that. Tag. But he yeah. said... Um, but they've just called from Wicked and they're asking if you'd like to go back. Literally, that day, wow. he, he got a no from one job. And, a, and, I, and I thought it was an absolute offer, but what it was, it was just like, we're really interested, but you have to come back in again and have a scene and go through a scene because it was really? six, been six years since I did it. And the Americans said, we just want to make sure he can still walk. <laughs> <laughs> because of course, oh. what people don't realize about Wicked is it is an American show and the American creatives yeah. Um, are in charge of the London production. So mm. the director, Joe Mantello, the original director, he has to see every everybody who the London panel put forward. And whatever the London panel say, they might say, we really want him, he's really good, whatever. He has to look at that video of you doing the scenes and the songs and think, is he the right person to play this part? So even though I've done it before, um, he they wanted to see me do it again. So. Before I went in, I said to my agent, what if I don't get this? What if I don't get a job? <laughs> I did for a year. And he said, darling, that's just the way it is, just get in there, you know. Yeah. So um, I did, and I got it, which was, was terrific. And this time round, it, I don't, it just feels better. I'm Good. really valuing yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's really lovely. You're working, you, well, you know, um, you're working opposite one of my best friends, um, Sophie Louise Dan, who is absolutely oh. sensational, everything she does. So when you get to work oh. today, will you give her a big hug for me? I will. We talk about you a lot, actually. Oh, I was bridesmaid at her wedding, so it's very special. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, how lovely! We should do it again, actually. We should do a, a Wonderbird, um, uh, you know, collab. We should all go and see Mark in the show. Yeah. Oh, yes, we would try. Well, Anthea would, that would be great. Come to see you, and then yeah. you got yeah. COVID, didn't you? That's right. Yeah, yeah. I was going to come. Still there. Yeah. I mean, we're all being tested uh, still three times a week before we go in. Are you? Are you? Yeah, we are. And again, that's because they're doing that on Broadway. So um, wow. mm. they're just trying to keep ev ev everybody safe backstage because even though those who've had it are not really suffering with it it, 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 it just spreads. And then you've got nine days or 10 days before you test negative and you can't come in. So the yeah. show's been affected by that, by that particularly at Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, but what we're doing now, girls, is if you do come and see us, if you take a little test, before you come and see the show and you're okay, you can come backstage and have a look. Oh, hooray! We'd love to. Let's we're do coming. It. We're coming. Yeah, we, so we finish. We finish at Sonning on the 11th of March. Okay. So it'll be after that, and then we can come. We are, and that we have lots more cuddles and kisses, can't I, Mark? And have a showbiz night. Oh, <laughs> That's right. A group hug. <laughs> a group hug. But they're all girls. just great parts. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, Hillary, you can play Madame Morrible. Oh. Debbie, you could well, you could all play, you could all play Madame Morrible, all of you. I mean, that's that's a great role for well, of course Har Harriet did it. Harriet played it, didn't she? Harriet did it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the costumes that she wears, she's got about oh. five changes, and they're just absolutely yeah. great. in fact. I've got the I've got the souvenir program out here just to remind myself. And this is this oh. is the Madame Morrible. This is this is when Anita Dobson did it. I'll just show you this. Where is it? Where is it? Um, somewhere. And she look look at Anita Dobson there. Look at that picture. Oh wow! wow. Yeah, wonderful. That's an Great picture. And that's I like the, the outfit. The wizard. The wizard. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Fantastic! It's it's a great show on on every level. You know, it's about yeah. diversity and inclusion and yeah. everything. Great story. And seventeen years. It's it's in its seventeenth year. 
No. And I can't believe it. We stand on stage at the end and it's still packed out. 2,000 people every show. Mm. It is a phenomenon. Absolutely. It's a joy, phenomenal. isn't it? When you go to the oh, to work and you know you're selling out. I mean, that's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. really is. I can't wait to see it. Can't I wait took to meet my, you. my kids to New York. When my son was 14, my daughter was 16, we went to New York and the present was to go and see Wicked on Broadway. Oh. And uh, it, it was the most incredible, the whole week was amazing, but th that was the highlight, was to go and see Wicked on Broadway. And he stared at the stage afterwards when the curtain had come down and said, I'm going to be in that. And then in 2012, he did. He got wow. into it. So, so, yeah, it was, it was, he did the same with Hairspray as well. He was going to be in that show. And, uh, but Wicked was incredibly special. It's just a wonderful oh, show. I'll tell you what's interesting now is that um, we're just about to do a cast change. So it's, um, it's almost a total cast change. There's only four or five of us staying on. And uh, the girl who's coming back to play Elphaba, um, Alexia uh, Kadime, she played it with Harriet, actually. She was in it when Harriet was in it. And so she was, that's like, that's about, oh, at least 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Wow. So she's coming back into it. Wow. Really as a woman, she was, she was, she was quite young when she played it. And she's yeah. really, and we've got a great girl called Lucy St. Louis, who um, has just been playing Christy in Phantom of the Opera. Yes, she is she's playing amazing. Out. She's amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah, but she's very. She's she's one of the youngest Christines ever when she played that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yes, I think she trained where I trained, but yeah, I know of her, so it'd be good right. to see her do it. So there's this excitement from men, you know, because they yeah. all and and for some of the people in the ensemble, it's their first job, and their first oh. job happens to be in the West End in Wigan. Oh, 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 it is the honeymoon period, of course, you know when it. <laughs> After a couple of months, <laughs> when you've got to yeah. keep, on doing it, keep on doing it, yeah. But uh, at the moment, oh. that's a really great vibe. Yeah, it's I mean, you can think about it. One of my first jobs, uh, probably the third or fourth job I did, was in the West End, and I never even thought about it. You know, it's just like here I am. Yeah. And it was, it yeah. was, it was the fact of you know getting paid every week. I used to walk backwards and forwards. But, you know, I used to um, from the. Uh, theatre to my flat and I was living in Notting Hill Gate at the time I was actually mm. living with Karen O'Connor and Billy Idol oh. <laughs> As you do. it sounds so weird doesn't it in a flat in Notting Hill Gate and I used to walk through the park into the theatre and I used to you know that was my sort of nighttime routine it's so weird and I used to go on the bus sometimes because and go and see Michael Howe because he was in chorus line Oh yeah, and, I used, and, I, and all I used to do was I used because they had matinees in different days, and I just used to watch. Uh, probably every week I went went to see the matinee of Chorus Line. It was oh. just my show, you know. I just loved yeah. it. Yeah, me too. And, and Petra Siniaski, who is our UK director, she was in that yes. production of a Chorus Line. Yeah. Back then, wow. she's she's amazing. Nice. I mean, I, I think sometimes, obviously, when you've been doing it a while you go in and you're maybe not feeling quite as quite as excited or as up for it. And then you come up the escalator and you see the poster, you see the wicked poster. And it's a London's number one show. And it's just, I think, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. I put the tannoy on about 15 minutes before the show starts. Cause the oh, wizard yeah. isn't on for about an hour. It's quite yeah. a long time before he, yeah. before he comes on. They talk about him and then he's got his big entrance. And um, it's getting your energy up for that entrance because everybody else has been doing the show for an hour by the time you come on. So it's mm -hmm. very easy just to kind of get ready and I don't want to get backed up for it, you know. So I turn the tannoy on at 15, about, yeah, about 10 minutes before the show. And you hear people coming in and you imagine them parking the cars <laughs> or into the hotel and getting <laughs> excited about it. And it's just my little way of, of, of recreating it every, every show. And then um, I don't listen to the whole show, but always about 15 minutes before I go down to get my mic on, I turn the tannoy up and hear the show and, and just get into it, you know, so. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, well, we wow. will come and see you very soon, Mark. And thank you so much for joining us. And we love you very much. Love oh, you more. <laughs> love you oh, more. God. God. <laughs> we love you more. Honestly, <laughs> listen to them. <laughs> see well, you good soon. Good luck in Good luck thank in the you. middle. Good luck in the middle. Love you, Bye, to darling. Bye. 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 I never liked him. No, I didn't. No. Like him. <laughs> <laughs> we honestly, he's just the man. <laughs> oh, he's so my fabulous. God. I love him. I've got next door here, that wall. Yeah. Staircase behind it, but then the next house and they've just moved in and it's um, the most beautiful uh, thing. So I have my hair done in Godalming where I live and my hairdresser is called Chelsea. And I came back here one day and there was a guy standing outside the front door and he went, oh, hello. And I went, hi, because it was for sale. He went, 
I'm your new neighbour. I went, oh, hello, I'm Hills, Hillary, but Hills. Um, and then this blonde girl came running out and I went, oh, and it was my hairdresser. So she's <laughs> in next door to me and they, oh just had a baby. they just had a baby and he's four oh. weeks old and I couldn't be better off. L yesterday, no hot water. First time I've ever known it in my entire life. Moved in this house in 1963, no hot water. And I went, uh, Chelsea, Cam is an electrician. He came in at nine o'clock this morning and fixed it. I am so blessed right now. I've got oh, a baby and I've got an electrician and a hairdresser next door. Yeah, you, you can just run next door when you need a quick blow, jo blow job. I need <laughs> blow to what? Say. Blow what? Blow dry. Blow dry. <laughs> yeah, good, good. That works. Um, yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and, also, and also, I'm going to say babysitting duties free for life. I mean, I'm here. Oh, oh. oh Hill, just, you are lovely. Really, well, I just want to see her go off, walk the dog without the pram. It doesn't have to do that. Give the baby here. You go and walk yeah. the dog, and I'll be yeah. here, I'll be here with Arthur. We'll be fine. We'll watch. Oh. We'll watch the Wonder Birds show. So we, we've had such a gorgeous show. So thank you very much, girls, and we will see you soon. Definitely. Bye. 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 Bye.